Here we go. Noblesville, our okay. Noblesville market. Here we go. Active homes. We're at 100. This is staying pretty uh, – staying. it correlates with our other previous market reports. Uh, active homes are kind of dialing down from where they were last month. Last month, we were seeing 121. This month, we're seeing 100. Average rents, 1799 down 100 bucks. So you're down 5% month over month. Nothing that I would be at all concerned about at all. I, In fact, if we look over here at our median rental price over time, we're going to look at our sneak peek into April. We're going to see those numbers tick right back up. Not concerned about it at all. Average days on market, what we were seeing last month was 34. I absolutely expect that to currently be near our average right now. Uh, and in fact, I expect it to even improve over the next coming months as the market is absolutely heating up. And even if we see a downtick in the average monthly rent, that leads me to believe that we're probably going to see in uh, a downtick in our average days on market. Uh, I, I wish that we tracked our market-specific average days on market here at Red Door, uh, but I would easily bet that we are considerably under the 30-day mark. Our average sales price, uh, I mean, it, no surprise. I mean, we're up 2% month over month. It does surprise me a little bit that we're only up 5% year over year, but the, the tremendous amount of growth in the Noblesville area has really been happening over probably the last 12 months, more than uh, more than more than prior to. Number of homes sold, 83 homes sold in the in the prior month, and that only continues to tick up as we were at 72 the prior month. Yeah, I think, I mean, we highlight Noblesville for a reason, right? It's a good, strong market. It's a good investor market. Um, it has good fundamentals. So uh, I think Noblesville is, is a great market to invest in for sure. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, low, low investment price point, Although we're up almost ten thousand dollars month month over month, believe it or not, man, that's crazy. That is crazy, right, man? I'd be looking at Noblesville. I, I absolutely expect that to continue continue to go up. Put your investment dollars here in Noblesville. Okay, so looking at year over year numbers, Noblesville active homes in the market. This doesn't surprise me at all. We have a lot more active homes in the Noblesville market compared to last year. Every single month over month. Uh, it's, a, it's an expanding market still. A lot of new construction going on. This doesn't surprise me. We're at 96 uh, again for the month of April, but we were at 100 for the month of March. Days on market. Here we go. I mean, we're, we're less days on market than we were last year. It's a much more stable line from January to February, and I expect that March line to continue pretty much uh, along the same line. Let's I'm really excited to see where that line leads us in April, but right now we're at a very healthy days on the market. Um, yeah, this is what I like to see. Yep, good strong fundamentals there. That days on the market looks really good. Let's hope that continues throughout the year because, as we can see, Fishers is kind of weird, and you're about to see Westfield even even weirder on the on the next slide. So uh, if Noblesville can remain stable, that would be really great. 